If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, check the referral link in the description down below. It'll take you to G2A and you can use the code CHES at checkout for an extra discount. Don't forget to download the Gamer Saloon app from your Android or Apple store. Go and win yourself some money playing your favourite games. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 43 of the Wolfsburg Career Mode series here on FIFA 16. Yesterday we had uh, the run out of the full brand new team as it now looks with the new four signings in it. Aurier, Nangolan, Kroviak and of course Imeric Laporte as centre-back who will be familiar with today's first opponents being from Bilbao in Spain. Uh, obviously Valencia are in La Liga so uh, it's back to Champions League action for us here at Wolfsburg. Time for the round of 16 in the Champions League. Hoping for a decent first result away from home at the Mestalla. Obviously Valencia one of the best sides in Spain so it's not going to be easy. The other side I'm thinking about doing a career mode with after the Chelsea series as well. So this is going to be a good tester to see how good Valencia potentially can be for us to use on uh, YouTube for potential series but Andre Scherler cuts through really nicely here nice run by Javier Pastore cutting off wide to the left hand side puts in a brilliant ball and Morata is only denied by an equally brilliant save by Diego Alves wonderful stop down low to his right hand side to keep that out we get a corner though Pastore himself will deliver another ball into the box oh it goes John Matip this time but it hits the bar and comes back down outside of the goal mouth and unfortunately they were able to clear it away before we were able to uh, turn it back over the line. Uh, they're having a chance of themselves down this uh, right-hand side now to start the game off. Obviously, we have a former Valencia player in our starting lineup in Sofian Fagouli on the right-hand side, but it was Paco Alcacer who puts them 1-0 up after 26 minutes. Really nice turn and finish at that near post and uh, deadly finish, actually. Obviously, we used Paco in the Twitch stream series that we did uh, prior to the one that's actually gone up on YouTube. Uh, we used him as we were manager of the national side for Spain for Euro 2016. And actually, I really enjoyed playing with Paco Alcacer. You see the Alcacer, or in this friendly where Ingo England played against uh, Spain, obviously, at Alicante a couple of days ago, they were calling him Alcacer, which is uh, perhaps just an even more Spanish way of pronouncing that but we are going to get ourselves back on equal terms here Javier Pastore's had a big part to play in all of the stuff we've created so far and this time he's on the end of the cross rather than being the man that put the ball, puts the ball into the box himself and a really nice header at the back post to draw us back on level terms at the start of the second half though Eremenko into Danny Parejo with a really nice shot actually draws a smart save out of Diego Benaglio took it very early the uh, the Spaniard and uh, drew a good save out of the Swiss a goalkeeper Pastore's uh, action on the field was coming to a close with 10 minutes to go made a triple substitution Pastore Sola and Arnold going off with Iñaki Williams Fakir and uh, Manolo Gabbiadini entering the fray uh, it's actually Gabbiadini that plays in Morata down this right hand side turns his side he's going to have a shot on his left foot the Spaniard but well saved by Diego Alves again but it does drop kindly this time to Iñaki Williams and his first touch of the ball is to kick the ball over the line to give us a 2-1 lead really pleased with that here is Nabil Fakir smart save again by Diego Alves though and uh, we're able to uh, unfortunately not build on our lead but we were able to get the win nonetheless from that first leg and obviously with it being a European game away from home the two away goes two away goals will come in handy very much so when it comes to the second leg and hopefully progressing us through to the quarterfinals as you can see Bayer Leverkusen is the next opponent also away from home they are first in the Bundesliga right now having a very strong season are uh, Leverkusen and uh, currently find themselves above Bayern Munich we obviously could do with a win here to get us back up towards those those European spots we are within touching distance we just need to put together a run of form domestically which we started to do yesterday with good wins against Leipzig and Dortmund but obviously the uh, undesirable result against Mönchengladbach kind of put a halt to that but we could uh, do very much so with uh, three points here as well although it's very very foggy in this away game right now as you can see you can barely see the other side of the pitch especially with us playing in white doesn't necessarily help either but we'll do our best to adjust to the uh, to the conditions. Andre Scherler cutting down the left-hand side after just three or four minutes. A nice turn inside, but unfortunately the shot straight at Bernd Leno. He took one quick step to the left there and was able to get his full body behind it to, uh, to clutch it into his stomach and stop us from being able to get a 1-0 lead. Uh, Oztunali, though, does really well to get past Niklas Söller there and then nicely returned to him by Christoph Kramer, but unfortunately for Oztunali, not able to get it into the back of the net. His shot was uh, perhaps put under a lot of pressure by the goalkeeper rushing out to him, couldn't keep his head and smashed it wide 
of the post. Javier Pastore, though, has been fa a phenomenon for us at Cam since we moved him up to that spot, scoring goals left, right and centre and close to scoring another one there as the shot was well tipped away by Bernd Leno in goal. Leno, obviously one of the uh, better goalkeepers in the Bundesliga, a really good young German goalkeeper. Andre Scherler, though, into Krakowiak, but unfortunately the pole couldn't dig it out of his feet well enough to get it towards that far top corner. Again, another smart save by the young German in between the sticks for Leverkusen. Bellarabi proving he's quite a lot quicker than Krakowiak there, racing away from him. Couldn't get anywhere near him when I was trying to catch him up. And eventually it is going to be Karim Bellarabi that whips the ball in. It's a very good header by Chicharito as well. And he's unfortunate not to give them the goal to go in front there. Very strong in the air, isn't he, uh, Javier Hernandez? Obviously we know that from his time at Manchester United. I think he's only on loan at Leverkusen right now, but he is having a decent season in uh, real life, I think. But a uh, decent shot there by Bernis. Well saved by the goalkeeper again. Though goalkeeper seeming to be on top in this game in the Bundesliga. Hakan Solanolu, though, going to try and get on the end of this ball over the top from Morata. Just shrugs off Wendell really nicely. And the shot, I was trying to you know, bury it in that near post. But unfortunately, again, just kicked it straight at the goalkeeper. I can't seem to uh, get my shots uh, right into the corners at the minute. I'm trying to either rifle them in the near post or fire them across goal into the bottom corner. Tried the spectacular there. Morata brings that down on his chest. Goes for the overhead kick, but uh, Bernd Leno reads it and just nips in uh, quite bravely, actually. Could have really taken a boot to the face, but nips in and steals the ball off Morata as he's in the process of trying to uh, put away that overhead kick. But uh, that's going to bring that particular game to a close. A nil-nil draw, unfortunately, but against the league leaders, a nil-nil draw away from home isn't the burst of, uh, of results. So we'll definitely take that point and uh, that'll give us, uh, make us a point closer to uh, Bayer Leverkusen, or not to Bayer Leverkusen, but a point closer to those uh, European spots as you'll see after uh, this squad report. Obviously, as always with squad reports, if there's anything or anyone you want to have a closer look at, then feel free to pause the video uh, at any point and you can have a closer look in more detail at a particular player. Obviously, the goalkeeper there, Sebastian, uh, or Stefano, sorry, Antonucci, is uh, growing really well with all of the training. But obviously, this is going to be the last season we have at Augsburg. So, uh, unfortunately, he's not really going to get the, uh, the opportunity to come to his full uh, potential in this particular series. But uh, we will be starting the career mode road to glory after this series. And before the end of this particular season, I will be doing a vote on uh, the career mode road to glory. I'm not going to give away any, uh, you know, teams or leagues or whatever yet so uh, there's no point asking me in the comments but uh, I will be doing a vote on the career mode road to glory so you will have your say on uh, which particular sides you might want me to do that series with but as you can see we are now within touching distance of uh, the European spots if we win our game in hand we'll be just two points behind uh, Borussia Dortmund in fifth so fingers crossed we can do that and Munch and Gladbach will uh, fail to uh, get maximum points from their game in match day 24 and uh, hopefully we can close the gap on them as well. But that's going to bring today's episode to a close. You can see all the links are on screen to my social media and to the No Identity uh, merchandise store. If you want to pick up yourself a t-shirt, they are uh, on their way out to people within the next couple of weeks, hopefully. So uh, drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed. Follow me on all the social media links and I'll see you next time.